Hello everyone. This video we're going to learn how to connect a PoE extender to an MVR system correctly and what we should watch out for. Well, first we have to know what's PoE. PoE is the technology to transmit power and data through a single Ethernet cable. Save us the trouble and time for looking for a power outlet for our IP devices. So it's just like one cable solves both our problems. And But the PoE uh, is kind of limited to 100 meter transmission. Because of the IEA 02.3 protocol, PoE can only output around 13 watts of energy and power. While since the technology has advanced, we improved our, tech, our technology and now we can output up to 26 watts. Some PoE plus are 26 watts and if we get even more advanced, PoE plus plus can provide around 51 watts or even 72 watts if you have the perfect device. Now, when we are using a PoE and VR, the output regularly is around 15 watts and now we want to set up an IP camera system over 100 meters. So first you have to break the 100 meter barrier. And then we have to worry about the power and a lot of things. So if we're going to worry about the power first, we're going to use a device called the PoE extender. This is our fast cabling PoE extender. We can use this and this will help us repeat our power and data for another 100 meters. It's really a good convenient device for this situation. And after that, there are two outports here. They both support 30 watts maximum, and that would be enough for these two IP devices. But this setup is kind of a wrong example. First, you can see that our 100 meter Ethernet cable is connected directly to one of the PoE ports right here. And then it will connect to our PoE extender. This will divide our 15 watts and then divide them to our two IP cameras. It might not be enough to power both of the cameras, so we might end up only seeing one image on our monitor. So now let's give it a try and see how it is. So now I have two Ethernet cables. We, we understand that these cameras from the extender can go another 100 meters, but it's gonna to be too messy, so I'm just gonna use a short patch cord to represent 100 meters. So white is for like one camera and yellows for the other. You can see the cameras are self-diagnosing right now. So these two are currently receiving power and we can see one camera is on the screen now. And you can see my hand waving. It has live feed, but the other camera cannot show up at all. This is mostly because of two reasons. One is because it's not receiving enough power to boot, boot up. Second, most PoE NVRs, because the PoE switch motherboard is integrated with the NVR motherboard, they are kind of a smart intelligence device that will tell us to read the IP addresses that is transmitted back to the NVR. But since it's, you know, it's not that completely perfect. It can recognize the device and automatically add it in, but this is one port and this is an extender. So we have two IP addresses going back through this cable, even though this one is not completely powered up, but it is still connected to the device, our NVR. So it will still send back a signal. In this case, it will risk the PoE NVR will receive a mixed signal of two IP addresses. So it is kind of confused. Regular NVRs will are able to separate, uh, regular PoE switches or regular switches are able to separate them. But the PoE NVR is an integrated motherboard, so it might have some flaws. But it also will have a lot of advantages, so this is like, we can't avoid this. So now let's talk about a solution. Well, in MVR, we know that we can use this as a recording device to see what our image is. But if we want to like this is sent back, we can use a regular home-based router. This router, although cannot provide PoE features because it does not provide power to the Ethernet cable. So in this case, we're going to need to add a PoE injector. 30 watts is enough. A 30 watts PoE injector to the router. 
So then the router can provide the data and the PoE injector can provide the power. So now we're gonna do this whole setup and you guys can see how simple it is. So first we're gonna connect our router, power it up, connect it to our main network. So this part is done. Now we have the data. Now disconnect the 100 meter ethernet cable. Now we need to connect the 100 meter ethernet cable to the PoE port of the in PoE injector. And then short patch cord goes to the router. And then we will connect our router to our NVR. We can use the uplink port because it will upload the data to the NVR so we can get the images. So now I will connect the router to our NVR and let's see what happens on our monitor. So now you can see we have two images on our monitor which each I'll sh wave my hand in front of the camera so you can see that it is a live video feed. So yeah, this is how we solve this situation to redirect our both the combined IP address to a router and the iRouter will help us configure them. And now remember the router is not a PoE device so we need this 30 watts injector. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.